September 11th happened and I was single in a little apartment. Um, I was 20 years old and I just felt like there was more. I should be doing more with my life. And by January, I was in basic training. I deployed in 2003 and then went, went back in 2006 uh, and I was wounded halfway through the second deployment. I remember waking up in launch duel and a doctor named Dromsky telling me that uh, I might not have my foot when I wake up from surgery. My wife was pregnant and she was in labor. I think I was in surgery and she was in labor it's pretty much at the same time. When I woke up after surgery, I still had my foot and was trying to piece everything together. And the general was coming in to pin me with the Purple Heart. I and mean, all of a sudden, a big white cowboy hat poked through the, the door. It was Tom Shepard, this big smile and this huge cowboy hat. Him and a bunch of Nashville songwriters were there with the USO. And then all of a sudden, the general came in right behind him. So it was like an instant party in our, in our hospital room. You know, I didn't really know too much about the USO before that, but it was nice to smile and laugh a little bit uh, after such a traumatic experience. You know, I was on kind of a fast track out of the military after, after that. All of a sudden being a civilian was a really tough thing, and then being a civilian and having some physical limitations was even tougher. I just knew that I probably run and was out of the question, and you know, it was a scary time. Here, nine years later, I got this device. It's an exoskeletal um, device, orthotic, and it actually springs uh, my foot where I've lost range of motion. And it's just an absolutely genius design. I, there's no reason I should run again uh, with the foot that I have. When I decided to run this marathon, you know, the guy that was there when I was wounded, I was visiting him and I said, you know, Maybe I could run a marathon now, I've always wanted to. And so he kind of grumbled, well, why don't you? It kind of sparked that soldier in me that said, well, all right, I will. This marathon is so significant to me because it's something that I always wondered if I could finish that marathon. And I realized that, you know, maybe it would be better if I did this for a greater cause than myself. You know, the USO has recently been standing up quite a bit of services here and programs. I, I thought this is something that I want to support. When I'm at mile 20 and I don't want to run anymore, I figured that if I have a bunch of folks that have paid money to an organization because I'm running, I, I can't quit. You know, everything's better with a team.